Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Jen and if you're new here then thanks for stopping by today. I feel like it's been a while since I sat down and did a Not With Me video and I started this Jack Skellington mini tapestry a while ago and I really need to get it finished. So I'm gonna sit down and do a little life update with you guys because a lot has happened since the last time I posted. But before we get into that, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, it really does help me out. Okay, let's just jump into the video. So for starters, this is obviously an alpha pattern. I found this pattern on bracelet and I found it literally just by typing Jack Skellington into like the little search bar. And you know, this was like a small-ish pattern. Yeah, I don't know, I just didn't really want to start anything that was too big because like, I mean, I started this so long ago and it's still taken me so long to finish it. So this is pattern number 56451 on bracelet book and it was made by T underscore Mooney. So thank you for posting this. I will leave the link for this pattern in the description below. And this pattern is 26 by 28. So 26 base strings and 28 rows. And for all of my base strings, I'm actually using Aunt Lydia size 10, which is kind of comes in like this big <laughs> ball. It's kind of hard to see on camera. But I've been using that for my base strings lately. And I, I don't know, it's a, it's a lot cheaper than buying the pearl cotton, which is what I usually use. But it is a little bit thinner, so it took some time to get used to. But a little bit of a life update. Dylan and I had our wedding just about two weeks ago now. It was not last Saturday, but the Saturday before. It was September 25th. And we had a wedding, just like a very small ceremony in Dylan's parents' backyard. We invited like 15 people. It was basically like my parents, Dylan's parents, my brother and his wife and uh, their daughter. Yeah, it was perfect. It was funny because it was actually supposed to rain all day that day and we were all like a little bit worried, but you know, we had like tents set up and everything. But the rain actually held off like all day until like, I don't know, maybe four o'clock and then it started to like pour. But I mean, up till then, I mean, the weather really held out for us. And we also did a first glance photo shoot. I'll actually post a few uh, little sneak peeks of our photos here. Just, I love these photos so much, so I just wanna share them with you all. So basically my maid of honor and I stayed um, at the hotel the night before and Dylan and his best man stayed at our apartment the night before. So when we got ready in the morning, like we, like we were texting and stuff, but we hadn't seen each other or anything like that. And then we just kind of waited for the text message to come downstairs because we had picked out like a, a meetup spot where we were gonna meet up and Dylan would be like turned around. And I came down the stairs and his back was turned and he hadn't seen me yet. And then he turned around and then we saw each other for the first time. And it was, it was really nice because it was basically just the two of us plus like our maid of honor and best man. And my mom was there <laughs> as well. But it was so nice because then we went to the ceremony together and we had already seen each other. So we actually walked down the aisle together, which was, which was kind of cool. Like we walked down the driveway um, and then we walked up to the ceremony where everyone was already sitting and our music was playing. We were playing um, A Million Dreams from The Greatest Showman when we were coming down the aisle because that's like one of our favorite movies. When we first watched that movie, we watched it like over and over and over again. And then we just had like a very short and sweet ceremony. We wrote our own vows. Everyone was crying. <laughs> Everyone was laughing. It was so sweet. It was so nice. And then afterwards, we took some pictures and then we ate. We had a big barbecue, actually. <laughs> there was like burgers and hot dogs and potato salad, all that good stuff. And then, you know, it started to rain. <laughs> but it was such a good day. It was it was amazing. Literally one of the best days of my life. And it's funny because I never like pictured myself getting married ever. So, oh, I almost just nodded the wrong color. See, this is, it's, it's scary making these not with me videos. I'm not gonna lie. Because I start talking and then, and then I just start making mistakes. Okay, oh my gosh. 
yeah, it was an amazing day. I had a great time. And then afterwards, um, we were just kind of tourists in our own town. We actually like rented out an arcade for an hour and it was just the two of us. And, and it was really fun. Um, I'll insert some pictures of that too because I ended up winning like the jackpot on one of the games and I got 500 tickets and we ended up winning like a, a plushie. So it, it was honestly like the dream honeymoon. It was, it was amazing. But yeah, that's why I haven't been very active lately on social media, like on my Instagram or my YouTube because we've literally been planning our wedding for the past like two months because we weren't honestly planning at all. Like we were engaged and everyone's like, when are you getting married? When are you getting married? And we were like, um, soon. Like we're, we're just trying to figure it out. Like we're not party planners. We're not party people. Like we've never done this before. So we kind of put everything together, like not last minute, but it was, it was such a small ceremony. It was like, we don't need to put like so much effort into this. Um, but when, but when we were planning it, it was like all we were thinking about. So now that it's over, slowly getting back to my regular routine and I'm trying to get back into the swing of making bracelets and making YouTube videos again. I'm not gonna lie, it took me a lot of, like I had to muster up a lot of energy to, <laughs> to sit down and start working on this. And sometimes that's what you gotta do. Even if you don't want to do something, sometimes you just gotta push yourself to do it because then when you're doing it, you're like, this isn't so bad. It's all right. All right, so I'm just finishing off all of my edges here with forward, backward knots on the right and backward, forward knots on the left. And that's gonna give me that straight edge. Ever since I started doing the straight edge technique, I don't think I can go back. I used to never do it. But then all my sides had like all these bubbles on the edges, if you know what I mean. Like it's almost like you can see the row turning around. So personally, I prefer the, the straight edge technique. I do, th I do think it's worth it. And I am just starting the 24th row. So I have, I literally have like four rows left. <laughs> I'm very close to finishing this. It doesn't feel like I am. But I mean, I guess his head is already done. I'm just doing like the little bat piece underneath. Come back in with the gray. So another reason why I wanted to finish this tapestry so badly, because over on my Twitch channel, I actually have a giveaway going on right now. Anyone who subscribes to my Twitch channel in the month of October will automatically be entered into a draw to win a mini tapestry uh, made by yours truly. So it could be this tapestry, um, it could be the N64 logo, the festive Pikachu, you know, like Christmas is coming up. I did a draw just like this one uh, maybe two months ago, and the winner of that draw decided that they wanted a Buffy the Vampire Slayer tapestry, so that's what I made them. And it's open worldwide, you can live anywhere in the world, it doesn't just have to be North America, because right now that's the way my Etsy shop is set up, it's just... North America. I am working on changing that though. So yeah, if you want to be entered into a draw for a chance to win this Jack Skellington piece or any mini tapestry made by me, then head over to my Twitch channel, hit subscribe. You can unsubscribe at any time you like, it's super simple. But hitting that sub button will automatically get your name entered into that draw. And right now, there's not that many people in there, so your chances are pretty good. Having said that, I've honestly been having so much fun on Twitch lately. I have been playing a ton of The Sims 4 lately, so if you're into that, definitely check it out. I will link it down below. I've also been thinking of maybe uh, live streaming some of my nodding, so if that's something that you would be into, definitely let me know. I tried live streaming on Instagram a few times. I actually made the festive Pikachu entirely on live stream on Instagram. I guess that would have been last year. I did that for Christmas last year. So yeah, definitely let me know if you'd be interested in some live streams. I don't know, I'm always just afraid of being super awkward because when I start nodding, I get very focused and I get very quiet. I just wouldn't want anyone to be bored, you know? Dylan and I have also been live streaming some of our music. We had a live concert over on my Twitch channel, I guess like 
a month ago now. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's been that long. And it was so much fun. We have like the set list that everyone can like choose songs for us to play and then it like queues up. It was so much fun and we are working on songs to add to that set list. So if you want to hear like a little taste of that, I'll link, I'll also link that down below. There'll be lots of links in the description for this video. And let me know down in the comments if there's any song suggestions that you have that we should learn so that the next time that we have a live concert, you can tune in and, you know, we, we can sing your, your favorite song for you. I'm just about to finish up the 24th row here. Let's fill this all in with purple. And now we are officially like done making his face. Yeah, that's basically all that's really new in my life. I mean, now I'm just kind of getting back to streaming, back to making YouTube videos, like I said. I had actually planned on filming a tutorial today, um, but then I was like, maybe, maybe I should just like look it up to see if um, anyone else has made this tutorial before. And it turns out so many people have, so I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna waste my energy doing that because, you know, other people have already done this. So I thought we would just start simple, just sit down, do a little not with me video. I guess this is, this is my, my third one? Yeah, I, don't, I think it's my third one. So right now I'm just kind of creating the negative space around his little bat collar. So we're just gonna come in with lots of purple. And this pattern only uses four colors, so that was the other nice thing. I was like, well, I have lots of black, lots of white, I know I have gray, and then I said to pick a background color, and this is the original color that came on the pattern. But obviously you can use any color you like for the background. And then I'm just gonna switch over to my black and continue with my forward knots. And with our alphas, we're just making sure that we're doing forward knots all the way across one way and backward knots all the way across the other way, going back and forth. Okay, we can really start to see like that little bat shape starting to take form. That's exciting. I really want to make a bunch of spooky bracelets now that, like, I mean, Halloween is right around the corner and we don't even have our Halloween costumes yet. I mean, I do have like a few Halloween themed like friendship bracelets, just normal bracelets, but I want to make some more like Tim Burton themed things. I feel like last year I made so many Halloween items. I had like the Jack and Sally tapestry. I had two Nightmare Before Christmas keychains. I had the Beetlejuice tapestry. You know, like I was busy last Halloween. But this year I just, I feel like I'm so far behind. But once I finish this, maybe it will motivate me to, to make something else. Like I've seen a few Corpse Bride patterns floating around. I think I've seen a few Coraline patterns floating around. Like that, that's what I'm talking about. That's, that's the kind of stuff that I want to make this Halloween. Maybe something like really big and ambitious. So let me know if there are any Halloween patterns you think I should make, any spooky patterns, any horror film patterns. Definitely send them my way because I need all the inspiration that I can get. I really thought that I was going to finish this tapestry in this video, but I'm honestly kind of running out of things to say. So this might be a very quick update video just kind of being like hey I'm still here I'm sorry I haven't posted anything in a while just I've just been very busy so since I'm running out of things to talk about I'm going to time lapse the rest of this tapestry so we can get it done and then we'll jump back in once we're finished Thank you. 
and Jack is officially done. I just tied off my base strings using two gathering knots at the bottom, cut off the rest of the base strings that were hanging below, and now all I have left to do is cut the rest of my dowel and then attach my hanging string and he'll be good to go. And if you'd like to be entered for a chance to win this tapestry, then head over to my Twitch channel, hit that subscribe button, and he could be yours. Anyways, that's all for today's video. I'm sorry it was a little all over the place. You'll have to forgive me while I slowly get back into the groove of everything. Let me know down in the comments any other videos you'd like to see in the future. I hope you have your favorite snack. I hope you drink lots of water, and I will see you next time. Bye, everyone.